Hey y'all, I am on the way to the doctor's office. Um, nothing is wrong. I just have to go every three months and be seen because some of the medication I take. So, uh, I need a refill and so I have to go be seen. So I thought that I would just uh, talk with y'all while I um, uh, drive and I don't really have anything to talk about. I just, um, I'll have to think as I go. So, uh, the Littlest Angel Project went really good and um, the ladies there at the funeral home were so thrilled and happy and they said that uh, this was the first time anyone had done anything like that for the funeral home and it would help the family so much and um, they thought that uh, y'all joining in on this and making it a group effort was so nice and uh, it was just a blessing all the way around it was a real blessing and so I just left my house and now on the left we just passed the funeral home you know it's right there near me and uh, the funeral home director is a wonderful man <clears throat> and uh, so anyway enough about the funeral home now I know you can't see where I'm at but we're about a mile away from my house and right over there is a Dollar Tree that is opening up today and I will be there. I want to uh, see what all they're going to have and they took up two stores so um, it's going to be pretty big and I'm curious to see um, what all they have. When I was in Idaho there was the biggest Dollar Tree I had been in and um, it was just a monster it was so big so I'm hoping that this one is pretty big like that but I'll just have to wait and see and uh, my husband requested that I make some of the knockoff red lobster cheddar bay biscuits today and so I'm gonna do that recipe on camera for you so be looking for that and the weather here is starting to turn uh, warm you'll have several real nice warm days in the 70s I consider that warm and then a really cool day will sneak in but uh, the daffodils and the Easter type flowers have come out and are beautiful and um, it's just really starting to feel spring-like and so uh, it's very pleasant and here comes a big old transfer truck on my side of the road and I don't think I'll be doing anything today other than a little house cleaning and um, making uh, our meals along with those uh, biscuits and also I'm gonna fry some uh, fried green tomatoes I had gotten some tomatoes from a family at church last year at the end of the season they brought um, green tomatoes what they had left that they weren't going to use and so I took a bunch of them and sliced them up and laid them on a, a um, like a pizza pan and stuck them in the freezer and when they froze then I put them in a freezer bag so they would be easy to get apart and um, so I'm going to take some of those to make fried green tomatoes maybe today also and in my opinion you either 
love fried green tomatoes or you hate them. They're just one of those foods that that um, fall in one of those categories. And Kaylin's doing real good. She um, will be starting kindergarten in August and she loved pre-k when she was going and uh, was just sad when she had to leave and happy when she went but then she started not really caring for it that much and what I think is is uh, the teacher would say something to her if she did something wrong which naturally you know, I don't blame the teacher for saying something to her when she did something wrong, but I think it hurt her feelings. And uh, she wasn't all that thrilled about pre-K when, when we took her out, but we did take her out because um, she was just not being taught anything. And we told them when we enrolled her that it was, um, that we were putting her in because we wanted her to be ready and prepared for kindergarten. And so she went about five months and she knew nothing more when she came out than when she went in. So she got some social skills, but otherwise she didn't learn anything. So uh, I'm just teaching her at home and she's a smart little girl and she'll do fine and um, as far as my husband's health goes he is um, he goes to the VA for his health care sometimes they send him to a private doctor under the choice program but they don't always want to do what the private doctor wants to do so the private doctor doesn't have free reign to treat my husband like they want to. So uh, he's thinking about back surgery and he's also thinking about there's some sort of pump or something they put in the back and if he gets in real bad pain, he can mash a button or something and medication will go directly to the pain. So he's thinking about that and he's going to talk to the, well, he already talked to one doctor about um, the pain surgery and he said that in Randy's case, he would n uh, never suggest it because uh, he thinks he would get worse instead of better. But um, anyway, he'll talk to more than one doctor and just see what he thinks. He highly regards the doctor that told him he wouldn't get it. So anyway, we'll see about that. But it's it's um, hard on you. It's hard on my husband and it's hard on me seeing him in pain all the time. But um, he'll, he'll get healed. I feel like he'll find what works for him and he will uh, do just fine and so some of you may have seen my daughter Holly McConnell she's on Facebook and she does videos and you may have seen um, she's done some YouTube videos but I don't think she really does those anymore but she's done some um, Facebook videos and I've done a couple with her and they are a lot of fun to do my children and I have a real close relationship where we can tease each other and and uh, have fun and you know we all know whatever we say we're just playing so it's fun and uh, if you ever get a chance to watch any of those um, her name's Holly McConnell, and she's a mess. And in the South, if you're a mess, that's a good thing. So, um, 
I'm going to start working on my yard. I have just a little bit. Um, started pulling some weeds and um, I got a tiller I had told you a while back at the end of last uh, season and I'm gonna till uh, some garden space instead of use the buckets because I wasn't really uh, pleased with how that turned out. I thought that the plants just didn't grow big enough and so I'm gonna grow a few things in the ground and hope that that turns out good and we have the backyard divided I was gonna have to do that to divide the dog from his part of the yard from the garden part of the yard and we got that done our son-in-law did it and um, I just want to plant some uh, flowers um, perennials and um, just cheer things up around and um, I don't really know what I'll plant or where I'll plant it but <clears throat> I'd like to do that so I'm trying to think what else you may be interested in hearing um, I can't think of anything really. I go for a mammogram the 16th of March and that's uh, just a normal thing. Uh, I'm not going because I failed a lump or anything. I'm just going because it's uh, that time. And uh, anyway, I feel like I'm boring you. I'm kind of boring me. So, I'm going to go on to the doctor. It won't be long till I will be there. And, uh, like I say, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm not going for any reason other than just to be seen so I can refill my medicine. And I guess that's it for my little chat with you today. And I've done this one time before and I enjoy talking. I just don't know why I don't do it more often. But I'll have to start. So I hope that y'all have a good day and uh, do something special for someone else and do something special for yourself too. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.